Okay, here we have, uh, we're doing the same thing. Uh, but a couple things we need to check first. Number one, always check, make sure the chemical equation is written is balanced. The chemical reaction equation is balanced. It looks to be balanced. Okay, number two, we need to write our equilibrium constant expression. We need to write our equilibrium constant expression. So in this case, we don't have a homogeneous equilibrium. We have a heterogeneous equilibrium, solid state, solid state, gaseous state. So when we write our equilibrium constant expression, what are we going to uh, omit from it? We're going to omit this and this. So it's very important that we realize the difference between writing equilibrium constant expression for a homogeneous equilibrium and for a heterogeneous equilibrium and follow those rules. So we're supposed to find Kc from Kp. So if I'm going to write the equilibrium constant expression for Kp, it's going to be equal to the partial pressure of CO2, and that's it. There's no power here because the coefficient is 1, and it's not going to be over anything because our reactant is omitted from the equilibrium constant expression. So this is it for the equilibrium constant expression, okay? So if I want to, uh, to find Kc, well, I'm going to use this. Kc is equal to Kp times Rt raised to the negative delta N. Delta N again is moles of products, gaseous products minus moles of gaseous reactants. Remember that these have to be gases. Okay? So I've got one mole of gaseous products, zero moles of gaseous reactants. So delta N is one. So this is going to be raised to the negative one power. Okay? And again, the reason why I have us practicing writing the equilibrium constant expression before we do this is because normally or sometimes or even on the exam, I may give you this. I may give you these, these pressures at equilibrium. And so the Kp for this reaction is going to be equal to this pressure when you plug it in. It could be 17.5 atms. Now you have Kp. And I say, what's Kc? You have to take this 17.5 because it's equal to Kp and plug it in right here. R would be 0.0821. I give you the temperature in Kelvin, something Kelvin. And then you raise it to the negative one power and you actually have a value for Kc. Okay, But in this context, in the context of this uh, Alex topic, they just want you to set it up. So just setting it up with no values, there's your equation.